In this expression, we are asked to find the real values of x. This expression comprises of two parts, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The left-hand side is an absolute value, while the right-hand side is a rational number. The two are connected with an inequality, and this inequality is a greater than type. And the expression on the left-hand side consists of a non-variable, and this unknown variable could be a positive number or a negative number. So first we have a negative number 2 and another positive number 2. This negative 2 is less than 0 while the positive 2 is greater than 0. So what absolute value does to these numbers? For negative 2, it changes this negative 2 into a positive number 2. And you know that positive number 2 is greater than 0. As well as positive 2, it will remain positive forever and it is also greater than zero. So the expression on the left hand side, we don't know whether it is negative or positive, but whatsoever it is, the absolute value is going to make it a positive. So in this case, we are going to treat it in two forms. First, we are going to assume it is a negative number and as well as a positive number. If this expression is positive, we are going to have two x plus 2 greater than 4. Then we solve for x. 2x, if 2 crosses the inequality sign, it becomes negative 2. So we have 4 minus 2. And 2x now is greater than 2. If you divide both sides by 2, you are going to obtain x greater than 1. Then now we are going to assume that this value is negative value. So for that case, we are going to have a negative of 2x plus 2 greater than 4. If you expand this bracket, you are going to obtain minus 2x minus 2 greater than 4. If minus 2 crosses the inequality sign, it becomes positive. So we have minus 2x greater than 4 plus 2. Minus 2x is greater than 4 plus 2, which is 6. Now to solve for x, we divide both sides by a negative number 2. This cancel this, then x is less than negative 3. Here we have greater, or here we have less than, because the inequality says if you divide or you multiply an inequality with a negative number, it changes the position of the inequality to a direction opposite. So we have now x greater than 1 and x less than negative 3. But the question we need to ask ourselves, are these two values the real values of this x? For you to find out, you need to check. So let's assume this x is positive 1. Then 1 times 2 is 2. Then 2 plus 2 is going to give us 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. Then is 4 greater than 4? Never. But equal to 4. It is neither less than 4, nor greater than 4. Therefore, this is not a solution. Then we test for negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 in an absolute form is going to be positive. And a positive 4 is never greater than 4, but equal to 4. Therefore, this negative 3 is also not part of the solution. So how do we obtain the real solution? To obtain the real solution, we can do so on a number line. If this is a number line, <coughs> we have positive 1 and negative 3. Positive 1 is greater than negative 3. So we have positive 1 to the right hand side. And to the left hand side, we have negative 3. If you keep on going, you reach a certain number, which is a positive infinity. And to the left hand side, you are going to reach a certain number, which is a negative infinity. We have already tested positive 1 and negative 3, and none of them satisfy this inequality. So we are going to cycle the two numbers. What we are going to do now is to test a number that is less than negative 3, a number in between negative 3 and 1, and a number greater than positive 1. We know that we can obtain 0 here, so we test for 0. We can equally obtain a negative 4 here, we have negative 5 and so on and so forth. And we can get a number 2 or 3 here, or 4. If we test the value of x 
as negative 4 here, we are going to obtain 2 multiplied by negative 4 plus 2 in an absolute form. This time this is negative 8 plus 2. This will give us a negative uh, 6. In an absolute form, it will give us positive 6. Then positive 6, is it greater than 4? Yes, positive 6 is greater than 4. Therefore, every other value within this range after a negative infinity will satisfy this inequality. So all these values here will satisfy this inequality. Then in between negative 3 and positive 1, we have 0, so we test it. We have 2 multiplied by 0 plus 2. This will give us, this time this is 0 plus 2. We have 2 in an absolute form, and the 2 in absolute form is going to be 2 positive. And 2 positive is never greater than 4. So therefore, between this negative 3 up to positive 1, none of the values there will satisfy this inequality. So we mark them as this. Then we test the last one, which is positive 2. 2 multiplied by 2 plus 2 in an absolute form. 2 times 2, 4 plus 2 is 6. So this will give us a positive number 6. Is positive number 6 greater than 4? Yes. So all other values from positive 1 up to positive infinity will satisfy this inequality except positive 1. So all these values here. 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth will satisfy this inequality. So what does this mean? X is definitely greater than 1 and X is less than negative 3. So in a set form, this means that X is a value from negative infinity up to negative 3 exclusive. This means that negative 3 is not part of the solution. But had it been negative 3 is part of the solution, you are going to use the parentheses, this type of parentheses. But since it is not part of the solution, we use this type, union. 1, the values of x from 1 to a positive infinity, excluding the positive 1. Had it been, it is also part of the solution. We are going to use this type of parentheses. So since they are not, this is the real solution for this absolute value inequality.